Petrov's defense, classical, Nemzowitsk attack. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Petrov's defense immediately attacks white's unprotected e4 pawn, while ignoring black's unprotected e5 pawn. It is excellent. Nx e5 places the knight in the center, where it has influence over many crucial squares, and takes the undefended e5 pawn. It is ideal. d6 attacks the knight on e5 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. It is best. Nf3 returns the attacked knight back to the f3 square, where it supports the d4 square and fights for the e5 square. It is best. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board, where it controls many important squares. It is best. Nc3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the knight on e4 and controls the d5 square. It is good. As a result, the opponent's pawn structure is weakened because they are forced to double their pawns. Recaptures. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling queenside tends to be more active because the rook is closer to the center. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This defends the attacked pawn. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is the last book move. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. A knight could be pinned by this. It is incorrect. This ignores a superior approach to providing an equal exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. That's good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Making the adversary double their pawns makes it easier to establish flaws. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to concentrate a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. It's alright. That's good.
this competes for the open file with the opposing rook. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This wins a tempo on a rook while simultaneously developing a piece. It is ideal. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. It's all right. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. That's good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. This poses a knight winning threat. It is quite good. This reveals an assault that poses a threat to a bishop. It is quite good. The bishop is now in a secure position. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. It's all right. That's good. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. This threatens to reveal a check. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal a check. It is best. This immobilizes the opponent's bishop by pinning it to the king. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This allows the knight to control more squares. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is best. Thus, a pawn is lost. It is incorrect. This secures a pawn. It is ideal. A better technique to recapture a piece is missed by this. The end game has begun, and black is worse. It is incorrect. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is quite good. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. 
This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This allows the opponent to create an x-ray attack through two pieces. It is a mistake. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Black found some nice moves in the middle game.